All right. And we are back. You thought I forgot about you, but I did not. Um, those of you that were following know that I was moving from, um, from Austin. So last week was crazy. It was pretty much was move week. So I uh, took a little break. I did record some stuff, a lot of good stuff. We had a big, big meeting with one of our partners on a certain day. I happened to have, I had food poisoning the day before. I still recorded a bunch of it. I was pretty low energy, but there's some good stuff there to take away. And then we also vlogged the trip up. My brother flew in from Pennsylvania down to Austin and I packed as much stuff as I could fit into a car pretty much. Unfortunately, I had to leave the rest and then we just drove up. Um, but um, so a week off, but um, if not, I'm we're committed here. So this is picking back up. I am now in Pennsylvania with my folks until I figure out kind of where I'm going to be based. I didn't want to commit to Austin for another year and I'm, I wasn't ready to go back to New York. So I'm figuring it out. However, the show must go on. It's a very big week this week. Um, this week I have a, a board meeting on Thursday and those are kind of intense and you know, it's still crazy time. So we've got to focus. Um, so this week is going to be very heavily over indexed on preparing board materials, getting in line with my co-CEO on messaging, um, meeting with stakeholders, uh, one-on-one -on -one individually ahead of the board meeting. I've learned is kind of a good tack. Um, and then, you know, finally having the board meeting itself, um, in between, okay. In between, we have a bunch of stuff. We're also, um, uh, planning our OKRs, which is our, essentially our company goals. How do I say it? it's like we already have our company goals, but then you break them down into quarterly chunks, okay? And you have achievable targets every quarter for uh, more. It's complicated. It, it can be every department. Um, we'll we'll kind of get into OKRs separately, but. It, Essentially, it's your annualized goals broken down into quarterly chunks. So we're setting those uh, today or this week. Um, just a quick glance at my calendar. Uh, I'm also doing some executive coaching this week. Um, checking in with uh, the year of feedback. Um, checking we're checking in with uh, our leads as always. I do on Wednesdays. The board meeting itself on Thursday. And, uh, and then a light Friday. So big week. Today's Monday, Feb 5th. So um, if you're locked back in with me, thank you. Welcome. Welcome back to me. And let's get it going. Whew. Morning done. Uh, you may recall that on Mondays we do our skunk meetings, which is the day that it's kind of the smallest group of the of executives that have the most influence, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we met discuss the most pressing things in the company, things like, you know, we launched roadside assistance. How's that going? You know, um, you know, <clears throat> payment processing, some, some woes there, nothing particularly, uh, that's going to throw the ship off the rails, but risks to watch and make sure that they're contained, but went immediately into a monthly check-in with one of our reinsurers, you know, um, when you take on venture money, when you take on money of any kind, you owe people answers. And so for every type of money you take on, you owe answers, you owe information, you owe accountability, and you owe them communication. So for example, we have um, a loan that we've taken on from you know a big bank. And so we need to report financials to them and information about the business. We've taken on equity from venture investors, so we need to give them operational updates. How is their cash performing? How is the business growing? And in this case, we've also taken on reinsurance capacity. So basically, we insure a bunch of people and we take that risk and then we package it and get it reinsured. We're still the insurer on record for these uh, our customers, but um, you don't want actually all of that risk to be concentrated in one entity. God forbid there's a hurricane, there's a hailstorm, and so all big insurance companies for the most part take their premiums and they reinsure a percentage of them. Some insure reinsure more, some reinsure less, depending on how mature the program is. 
So anyway, that's a specific type of capital as well. They're a little bit less interested in our customer acquisition costs. They're less interested in our, in our growth rate to some extent. They're more interested in, hey, how's your claims handling? How's your profitability on your underwriting? That kind of stuff. So we did one of those. Now I have a quick break. I'm about to eat, get some food in. And then it immediately goes into, we're meeting with, uh, we have a board meeting this week, as I said, up top. And uh, that's kind of a big thing, man. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's like the most stressful week of the quarter for me every time is when we do our board meeting. I wish it weren't the case, but there's just a lot of work that goes into putting the materials together and the messaging and, you know, that kind of thing. So we're meeting with our board member ahead of that just as a one-on-one -on -one check in. Um, aligning your stakeholders one by one is a, usually a good idea ahead of a broader forum meeting. You know, you don't want any surprises. You want everybody somewhat up to speed on all the important stuff ahead of time. And then you go into the meeting, everybody knowing what's going to be discussed. And then that discussion is set up to be, you know, a good one if you do that. So that's what we're doing right now. And then going right into um, what we call an MBR, which is a monthly business review. Um, scheduled for Friday, it was pushed back. Um, and uh, the MBRs are essentially just high level business update from all of our directors. Uh, sorry, not board of directors, but like our officers, our executives. Hey, how's claims doing? How's customer satisfaction? How's net promoter score? How's conversion rate? How's customer acquisition costs? And it's just a numerical, very quantitative kind of meeting where we take all the information, synthesize them, ask good questions. And, you know, since it's only the fifth of the month, we set ourselves up to have the information about the last month to know how we're going to run for the next month. So um, quick break for lunch. By the way, we did get the workout at 6 a.m. Uh, quick break for lunch um, and then get into two, you know, they're not a lot of meetings, but they're very high, like, I got to be very, very sharp for these. So we'll do those. And from there, um, you know, probably wrap the day as far as meetings go and then spend the last like two or three hours at night. You know, I'm probably after my meetings, I'm going to go to the gym, get some steps in, come back, eat dinner. And then from there, it'll probably be 6 p.m. From 6 to 9, I have to put in a second shift. And, uh, and do some work on the board material so that they're ready and shipped out by tonight. So kind of an intense day today, but um, just comes to the territory. See you next time. Woo! All right. So just wrapped up the, um, the board feedback session. I wanted to jump on here and, uh, and have a specific clip dedicate, dedicated just for that. Just phenomenal. We are very fortunate to have an incredibly experienced board member. He's been a venture investor for two decades. He's seen three downturns, the 01 crash, the dot-com crash, 9, September 11th, all that. 2008 financial recession, and now this latest downturn. So he's been around the block, okay? And one of the things that he decided to do, working with his portfolio CEOs, is all these CEOs that he's invested in, is, hey, one of his CEOs one time asked him, Hey, I'd love to get feedback from you guys. Like, seriously, please. And so he started going around to the other board members and collecting feedback from the board, aggregating it, and then delivering it to the CEO. So we just did that for the first time today, just now. And um, it's really great, man. It's really great. I, I don't pay that much attention to the strengths. Let's be honest. Nobody does in a performance review, right? What you really want is like, okay, what do I suck at? You know, and, and for us... Um, the feedback is really around communication, the frequency and the timeliness of the communication and the consistency and continuity. You know, I have no problem just sharing that. Obviously, it's a, you know, it's somewhat of a private discussion, but I have no problem sharing that out loud because I do think that it can be hard. It can be difficult when you're running the business to just generate timely, consistent, frequent and high quality information on a recurring basis. Um, it's definitely a challenge, but. Uh, especially because of all the volatility in the market. But as I shared with Seth, I think that more volatility, more shit changing in the air means you got to communicate more frequently, not less. It's like the old saying about meditation. You should meditate for 10 minutes a day unless you're crazy busy, in which you should meditate for an hour. So um, that was the feedback. Um, and uh, I think it's good feedback. And we had a great discussion. And now we're moving on to the monthly business review. So one last high octane meeting for the day. 
And then, um, as I said, gym, uh, materials, and we'll call it a day. Peace. I mean, the, the big money shit. Beat money shit. <laughs> <laughs> Say Beat. big money shit, baby. Beat money shit, baby. <laughs> Night has fallen, finished our MBR, um, and then afterwards did a feedback session where we got some feedback from the team about how the company's feeling. And, uh, you know, same feedback, communication, communication, communication. Um, you know, it's definitely an improvement area. It's clear, you know, it's, it's, coming across from different stakeholders. So, you know, we have no choice but to improve. Um, uh, there's a bunch of good reasons why, um, there's a bunch of good reasons why um, communication is a very trick, becomes a more difficult challenge than I ever anticipated as you scale because you end up having a lot of unique reporting requirements per stakeholder that's very idiosyncratic to that particular stakeholder's considerations, right? So your lender needs information in a certain way, your investors need information in a certain way, your, your smaller investors are only privileged to certain information, your major investors get different information, your board of directors get different information, your reinsurer gets different information, your front thing carrier gets different information, um, your partners get different information and oh, by the way, you know, there's also your, your team that um, I think my learning today was to view that reporting requirement with just as much rigor and communicate to the team. And um, we do use the OKR framework, which is pretty much big goal and then key results and you communicate those things out. Um, um, but, you know, I think we need to evolve and because those are quarterly, I think we need to evolve and make those a little bit more collapsible, a little bit more bite-sized and a little bit, a lot more frequent. So instead of a big quarterly digest with a ton of information, I think we need to do monthly, you know, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe even bi-monthly, but something in that neighborhood, super frequent information around the KPIs delivered timely, frequent, uh, and consistently so um and uh you know some of our it seemed like our team no one wants to or how do i say this our team is f uh watching the vlog so i appreciate if you if you work at loop and you're watching the vlog i appreciate it and uh folks want to i guess know all of the stuff that i share on here beforehand i think it's just not possible, right? At the rate at which we're moving, at the rate at which companies, you know, venture pace companies grow, it's not gonna be possible. But I do think that the ask is actually a little different. I think that the actual, I think that the, that sentiment stems from not getting enough information. And so having to go out and find information and piece it together. So, um, so that's the theme for today easy and uh that's an easy one to rectify um with a little effort and a lot of um a lot of thoughtfulness around and preparedness around making sure those things are done ahead of time so that's it for now uh 6 53 p.m uh started around nine so a good uh 10 hour day i'm gonna go hit the steps get some dinner and i probably got another two or three hours this one's gonna be a 12 or 14 hour day all in um, and um, just the way the cookie crumbles on this one so we'll call it a vlog I'm gonna upload this now and ship it and it'll be up tonight and uh, I'm gonna update upload those two lost vlogs in the next day or two and um, just get right back on it appreciate you guys peace